Hello, today we're going to see how to use Airtable to um, uh, store information for patients in any sort of healthcare practice. It could be a doctor, it could be a physiotherapy, it could be anything. Um, we will see how to connect also these tables um, to build some sort of like a small CRM where we have all the history of the patients and also some important numbers like uh, payments and so on. So let us start. Um, you can see that I have a, the first one here is the patient, paciente, and here is the master record for each one of our patients, right? And you have all the attributes that you want to have. Um, if it's a risk patient, and what's the history of, of, of you know, diseases, and this is connected to another table, we're going to see it in a second. And if they have an insurance and the appointments that they have had, et cetera, et cetera. So this is the master record. You can also uh, see it as a, as a card. You can see it here. And you also uh, have a, a form, right? And I'm gonna make it big so that you see how this is presented to the uh, doctor or the nurse or the person that is taking the information from the patient. Right? So it's very easy to uh, use a form and select the birth date and, and all these things. And then the next thing we have, we have another table, which is the appointments, right? These two tables are connected. You have all the appointments that you have had and the future coming. And then you also have a form for the different appointments. So in this form, you will see that we have a bit of different fields because we are putting the information, reason of the visit and the observations and the insurance and the channel, right? What was the channel that origi originated that visit? It's a bit different because in each um, uh, visit, in each different appointment, the doctor or the professional will evaluate the um, patient and add some notes. And then we have uh, more uh, tables that are more like reference data, where you have the diseases. And we have in here knee operation and uh, back pain, neck pain, etc., etc. This can be expanded. Then you have the treatments that we do, or the clinic will do, ter therapy, manual therapy, or near rehabilitation. Other tests like x-ray or an MRI, if it's the case, the insurances. And here we start with the payments, right? So each appointment will generate some money that can be accounted here. This can be expanded at some point. This could be even used as an ERP, um, an enterprise resource planning for a larger uh, operating uh, clinics or, or centers. And, and then we have some extra information, like if the patient has already some diseases and some other lookup tables that you have here. Um, we have also the medicines, so the, the medication that the patient might be taking and any other habits that the patient will have. Now, how do we connect these tables? So uh, if you look at a patient again, and we go to the grid view, you would see that there are some lookup fields here. And where we're looking here is the postcode in, in, in a table that is at the end. And we call the postcode and um, we look up the value for the province and the city. Uh, for other ones, we have uh, the diseases you can see that you can add here, you can add multiple values from the diseases list that we have, we just saw in a different table. And the rest of the uh, reference tables or uh, static values list are coming here. Here you have the connection with, with the appointments. And this is a custom field that is uh, link, linking to another record. So this is linking to appointments. What that means is that for every appointment that the patient has, we will have, we will create a new uh, record in appointments in the patient table. Again, every time I will have an appointment here, and let's say I will have an appointment in August 31st, and uh, there will be a new reason, and let's say I booked through the website, um, I'll be getting um, a new record. This is me. I'll be getting a new record in the um, patient's master table. I'm going to put it as a, as a drop card so you can see how it works. And you can see here all the appointments that I've made and the appointment that I just made for um, August. Okay, so this is an easy way to 
get all the data for your patients together. Um, it's user friendly because it's uh, the, the end user will receive forms, but in the end, you will have all the information about your patients, super important, all the appointments, how much are you making, and you can follow up on each uh, customer, patient uh, from your clinic. Additionally, uh, using advanced features from uh, Airtable, you can create automated emails to ask for reviews based on the information that we have uh, when we capture the email, for example, in this field, or the phone number in the case that we have it, we can send, a, for example, an SMS uh, reminding them about the next appointment, etc., etc. So these are the third-party integration API integrations that Airtable can do. That it's supercharging uh, you, the data that you're capturing in your CRM. I hope you like it, and I will be back soon with another use for Airtable for small and medium-sized businesses. Thank you.